Hi everybody, I just wanted to check in with you today and say hello. I'm sitting in my room, the weather has really changed today and the clouds have come over and there is a wind blowing and there's a real feeling of change out there and it's sort of rattling people a little bit so I'm taking some quiet time to myself this afternoon and I'm doing some journaling and I'm doing a little bit more research into a couple of plants that have really called out to me here both in their use as a herb and use in energy medicines that I feel is very helpful to us Irish. Um, I'm a firm believer that mother nature provides in our environment mostly but I will also have a very open mind to a couple of plants that may be helpful to our energy and help rattle us up a little bit by bringing in some wisdom from other cultures and I'm finding that here so I'm also excited now that I've learned what the plants do to see how I can bring them home um, because they are native to this area and obviously I can't bring plants home to grow them at home and harvest them so I need to explore whether I can make some remedies here and bring them back or source a company um, or bring seeds home that wouldn't have any earth on them or bring in any bugs and insects so let's just see how this plays out but I'm I'm excited um, I feel that they'll be very helpful to us um, we went up today I've my colleague here who's staying with me in the same accommodation Krista who's from Switzerland and we went up to a spring up in Oak Creek Canyon to fill up some water um, to bring home and drink it's very very pure it's certified um, you know free from if they have any forest fires you see there's always a concern that some of the um, chemicals that they might use to put out the forest fires can seep into the water table and maybe come through the water so they certify the water and it, it's very pure and um, you can feel that energy from it so I was very grateful to fill up a couple of big containers and bring that back for our use here um, for drinking and cooking and making our teas and coffees um, stopped at some stalls to look at the native Indian jewelry um, it's beautiful the quality of the craftsmanship is is exceptional and it comes with a price tag and they use fabulous stones I was you know it's a bit like being a magpie going towards all the silver and wanting to bring it home with you and you know you have to remind yourself that with all of these tools and things that get presented along the way between our stones and our um, jewelry that contains the energy of these stones and all of the different things that we can look at that we may feel we need to have in our lives to help us bring us back to that wholeness we have to remember that often there comes a point when we have to tap inside ourselves and remind ourselves that that true power and healing and wisdom is always within it's not going to take this stone to make me feel complete and protected it's me and and my vibration and if I do choose to bring a stone to me well this is mostly for a memory of my my visit here I always collect jewelry as I go around to give me a hook to remember all of the beautiful experiences and the energy of the place and I think we must be mindful to not give our power away to crutches to help us feel good because that is is all within and we all go on these journeys um, depending on how strong we are we tend to pull upon ourselves some experiences early in our lives that may feel terribly painful I know speaking personally um, there has been a lot of experiences where I felt lonely and isolated and weird and blah 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 and you know it's hard sometimes to go through these things and also at the other end a time comes when a lot of this surfaces up to be released it brings an awareness and with that awareness we gain a great insight and hopefully a gratitude for all that we have been taught and we must let it go it's giving us compassion and understanding for the world and how life and being human comes with challenges and it gives us an understanding to hopefully see other people with compassion and pure eyes knowing that sometimes people may act out and it's 
because life can feel tough sometimes it doesn't mean that anyone is a bad person and the more we can see through the the veil of behaviors or words or actions or judgments or whatever we sense is coming to us that there is a human being behind that doing their best and to not take it all on board and today seems to be a day that is reflecting a lot and feeling a lot coming at me from outside in the world it's a little unsettled today there's been some judgments flying around and it's good to just take a moment and this is what I do to be peaceful and to sit in prayer or meditation or in nature or to just take a little time out whatever way feels right for you we don't need to necessarily give it a title and just find yourself find your inner center in all of that and breathe and connect and ask how am I feeling is this triggering something is this somebody else's stuff how can we send a bit of love out to who, whomever or whatever that energy is for it to rebalance um, to try and not attach too many words to this to just have that awareness and to center yourself in your love and your heart and see is there something in this for me to learn is there something that I'm drawing upon myself for an experience or a lesson is it just what it is or are people just having a bad day um, to as best we can not react um, you'll know it doesn't take me telling you what the truth is in that um, everyone has a sense themselves about what that is once you put yourself in that time out and that space to just breathe into it and see it for what it is um, I'm in Sedona as you all know and it's a place of healing spirituality transformation a lot of expectation is placed on this plate on, on, on the location as somewhere that you will come and find yourself um, I've been very mindful myself that the only place I can find myself is here whether I'm in Ireland on a plane on a train in a car in Sedona in the middle of a war zone it's me to find me um, and to remember that we we can tap into that anywhere I'm here because I felt a calling here perhaps it's the plant medicines the allies and beautiful people that I'm meeting but I've been mindful right from the start of my journey that you know it's up to me on on that journey there is no place or no person that's gonna find the answers for me along the way there is meeting people seeing you know having all these experiences that help us to grow and learn more but ultimately you know all of the answers are within and as we go on our journeys often we'll seek answers from outside and that's a normal start to the journey for anyone we'll pick up books we'll look for the wisdom in there we'll want to attend seminars or lectures we'll follow the great spiritual gurus um, and this is wonderful it brings us a great education and a learning and a desire for more and I think also there comes a point where we we must stop flitting around like little butterflies to this and that and what people say and oh you should do this and you should do that and you know mindlessly um, believing everything that's told to us because within everyone's opinion and everyone's writing and and all of these different these experiences there's little gems that speak to you and there's going to be bits that don't resonate with you and it's really important I think along the way to question things and to flip them around and to explore them um, because not everyone's truth is your truth and to, to remember that to trust in yourself and what you want to take from that I do believe that within every one of us once we really go into that space there is this soul that has so much wisdom and it's here to learn more and experience more and all of that really is 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 to give back in service um, and that doesn't mean that you need sorry my eyes are cheap, you need to become that guru sitting on the side of the mountain because perhaps the way you give back is in the job that you're currently in or in the sport that you're currently in or in the parenting that you're doing or you know in little moments or as part of your church or organizations whatever 
it is that you're doing whenever you feel called to help or assist or shine your light a little bit more or be a, an example of you know the, the 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 person that you want to be that's where you are making a change in this world and it's the only way we can change this world is through how we live our lives as best we can and to be mindful of not judging the path that others may take that's that's their path that's their experiences that's their learning and there is something in the way they do it that teaches us it either shows us how we want to be better or it shows us how we may not want to be at all but it's it's perfectly fine we we need contrast um that's part of life um and it's the right way um Oh, I did have something else on my mind. Oh, that was really about, you know, tapping into our inner inner wisdom. I, I believe that when we study books and we learn from others, we're sort of learning what's already been known or um, an opinion or something that's now or has been. Um, but I also believe that when we place ourselves in a space where we just listen, we can access something far greater that's, you know, bringing us forward, it's bringing knowledge forward. Um, and, and it's done in all aspects of life. When you look at the great inventions that have been done, or the great writings that have been done, or when science makes tremendous movements forward, that's actually someone sitting in a space and channeling knowledge from outside. It's letting a knowing come through, and it's not found in the answers in any book it's it's coming from a, 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 an inquisitive mind and a, a an education not necessarily a schooling education life is an education too and we mustn't get overly con um, obsessed with letters and numbers and identities and who's who and what's what because you know there's incredible people out there that haven't been to school and we want to include all of this in the learnings that we have but there comes a point when you know, we have all of this learning within us and then we stop and we take a moment and we listen to what else is out there. You know, that's the out of the box where the great wisdom is and it can come through any any one of us. And that's what I feel when you get to a point where you start to really trust in yourself and you can know a truth. And sometimes people around you aren't going to get it. They're still going to be hooked in the books and the science and the learning and the what this person said and the name dropping of all of the amazing scientists and gurus. But trust in your own self and you'll find your truth within there and it will lead you to a path that's that's greater. It's it's having that confidence within to to follow that. And I encourage you to do that. And it means that there is no dependency between you and others. It means you find this space. And when you're doing that, you're influencing a lot of other people. You're showing them to trust within themselves and to, to do the same, to, to take great leaps of faith and believe in themselves. And I think when we're all operating from that heart space with a pure intention, that's where magic happens. That's where change happens. That's where, that's where you know, we're going to, save our planet um which it needs and i know these words sound a bit daft but they're my beliefs <laughs> um so that's me i'm taking a quiet day and tomorrow i'm hoping that if it does rain it rains tonight and the sun comes out tomorrow because i'm missing it and i want to soak up as much of it as i can so that when i come home i'm in a good space for being there for all of you that might want to come in and chat to me and share your dreams and if you have health issues, that hopefully we can unravel them together such that you can go on and be your full energetic self and, you know, pave a path and live life to the full, full of joy and letting your inner child out and all of that shenanigans. I love you all. Bye.